Howdy folks, I'm Aaron. Welcome to Lowe's Joinery. Today's video is a quick build. It's a TV unit with some hairpin legs, dark oak wax all over. It looks absolutely mint. Stick around if you want to see how. Okay then folks, so starting off this build, uh, I've got some scaffold boards, these are new ones, um, they were banded but I took the bands off, I didn't think it was worth showing you that. Um, so I'm just rough cutting these all to size now, because uh, they're all going to be mitered on the corners, so um, we're just going to get all these rough cut to size now. Right, so now that we've got the um, bits all cut to size, um, I'm just truing up all the edges or straightening all the edges off with the uh, track saw. Um, if you just note as well, I'm making it in a few passes as this is quite thick material and it's uh, solid wood, so I don't want to put too much pressure on the saw really. So I'm doing it in two, three passes um, on the edges, so not to put too much stress on the saw. Um, so easy with these track saws, literally just put the track on, put the saw on and there's your straight line. Uh, and this gives me a good enough result uh, for the edges to be jointed um, for, the, for the sort of style of furniture that I'm doing as well. So. Right, so what I'm doing now, I've got all the boards trued up on the edges, um, got the mitre saw out, and now I'm just cutting the 45 degrees on all of the um, mating surfaces or the jointing surfaces. Um, obviously, make sure you keep all of your fingers out the way of the blades. They're dangerous tools, and they do need a lot of caution when using them. Um, I'm clamping it down as well, as you can see, just to make sure that I get... As, as close to a perfect mitre joint as possible. Um, so we're just going to run through all of them now, cut all of the um, all of the 45s on the tops and bottoms and on the sides as well. And then folks, this is the part that I warned you about in the intro. This is the sanding. Um, I'm just progressing, progressively going through all the grits. Uh, 60, 80, 120. Um, and then I go on to the um, orbital sander. And I'll go on to a 120 grit with that. Um, and then that's more than perfect for the wax finish that I'm about to do. I think the sanding took me about an hour in total to make sure everything was all sanded perfect and up to standard. So just take note not to touch the edges, obviously, because you will be jointing them all together uh, in the final product.
Right then, so I'm just screwing up the mitered joints now. These are all going to be plugged with some solid oak plugs. Um, but what I'm doing is there's a little trick. I've got another video out if you want to have a look at it. It's how to do the perfect mitres. Um, and just a quick rundown. You just literally put the one side proud of the other one. And when you screw it up, it pulls it tight. But I'll put a link in the description to the other video. And you can have a look at that if you want to. So I'm just going to screw all these up now. Plenty of glue. Um, and just, yes, yeah, put screws in each side now and get it all um, assembled. Right, so we've got it all assembled, glue dried. Um, there was just a little bit of a discrepancy on this one. Um, so I'm just taking the black plane and a couple of other planes, number five, number four probably, um, and just gonna get it down to something flat. Um, it's not much, literally just a quick plane. And then what I'll do is I'll just ease the edges over. Uh, and then I'll probably just go on with the uh, sander just to give it a final sand. And then we can get these plugs cut and uh, start to think about getting some finish on this piece. So I'm not going to bore you, I've just got some plugs cut. Um, I've got a, I'll put a link in the description as well just to show you how I cut my plugs out, but you can do them any way you want. Um, little tip though, I do tend to go for the hardwood plugs, these are oak, they smell beautiful. <laughs> I do tend to go for the hardwood ones because when you're knocking in the softwood ones, they tend to sort of bruise over and sort of, um, they're a bit too soft really, so um, yeah, I use the hardwood ones um, a lot better. Just going to crack on with this now. In case any of you was wondering why I'm using a bit of a stubby brush, it's not because I cut the hand, well, I did cut the handle off, but it was for a reason. This is why.
see that? Not just a pretty face. I'm going to crack on waxing this and I'll join you back when I'm putting the legs on. Okay then guys, so I've, I've already put the uh, three three legs on. Um, I'm just going to show you now quickly how I put these. So <clears throat> all I've done is because the, le the legs splay out a little bit, I want to make sure that the legs don't... Um, don't come out further than the footprint of the actual table itself. So they're not touching there. So I'll get my spacer. And I've just done this all the way around. Make it flush on that side. Bring it on here. Make it flush that side and that side. <clears throat> get my leg and just push it into place like so there just like that and then I'll screw it off And then what I'll do is I'll just go around now, screw it all off, and um, I am going to put one in every single hole as well, just to make sure we get a good fiction on it. Okay then folks, so video done. Hope you liked it. Um like I said, nice simple build. Um mitered corners. They're not tricky, but I do think it is a key point to try and get them as tight as possible because it does make the piece look a whole lot better. Um a couple of things. Firstly, um I just wanted to say sorry for reading it off my phone, but um the legs, where I got the legs from, um, I've been looking around for quite a while to get a decent set of hairpin legs for a decent price. Um, I've been looking and they're sort of £40 plus um, for a set. Now I come across these um, and these were £26 for a set of 16 inch legs, 10 mil diameter rod, uh, two prongs, um, and they 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 were brilliant. They were, the quality was absolutely brilliant. Um, I'd put it up against any of the others I've found, um, and I've I've used quite a few companies. Now, there's a page on Facebook I'm on. It's um, Woodworking UK. They've got a bit of a deal going with the hair pig le hair pin leg company. Now I'm not saying 
don't use them because they're brilliant legs as well. Um, but for the price, this company really does um, sort of measure up. So I got them from, just going to tell you now in case anybody wants to have a look. They're called Legs 4, that's a number 4, Legs 4 Furniture underscore number, which is N0 or NO, sorry, and then number 1. So it's Legs 4 Furniture underscore number 1. Now we've got these on eBay. Uh, they do loads of different legs. They got wooden. They got wooden turn legs. They've got mini uh, furniture legs. They do the full range of hairpin legs. They they are brilliant. Um, really fast and um, free delivery as well. So twenty six quid for the legs, and that was it. And they turned up. I think they were here about three or four days later. So really good quality really good communication and really good service so i just want to say thank you to them for producing and providing me with such a brilliant set of legs to complement the build really um so yeah if you do want to choose them give them a shout they are really good really really good um second thing is i hope you liked it um if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down let me know um and just let me know what you think. Anyway, if you have a go at it, show me in the comment section below. I'd love to see your version of it. Maybe a different colour or a different size, shape, whatever. Just just let me know. I'd love to see a picture. Um, if you need any help, just just drop a comment and I'll I'll message everybody back there. Yeah, everybody back. I always do. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, it does mean a lot to me. They are creeping up slowly. And whilst we're on that. I just want to remind you that I've still got a competition on at the minute for uh, this solid American oak mallet I've made. Um, as soon as I hit 250 subscribers, it's going to be sent out to one. So if you do subscribe, find that build um, and comment on it and I'll give you a number and then I'll do a random select and obviously it'll pick a winner and they'll get that mallet sent out to them. So if you do, if you're not already, or if you are already subscribed and you haven't, comment and I'll give you a number. Uh it's always worth a go, and it there's no sort of there's no sort of um outlay for you. So get on there, have a look. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Much.